Welcome to the channel PK2023. Hope everyone has a good time watching our videos. Saudi lawyer calls for Cristiano Ronaldo to be deported for a crime of public indecency after he appeared to grab his crotch as he walks off the pitch in response to messy taunts from fans. A Saudi lawyer has called for Cristiano Ronaldo to be thrown out of the country after he appeared to make an insulting gesture towards fans following Al Nasser's 2-0 defeat by Al Hilal on Tuesday night. A video released on social media seemed to show the 38-year-old grabbing his crotch as he left the pitch in response to fans chanting the name of his rival Lionel Messi. Lawyer now Finn Ahmed has reacted to the incident, and wants Ronaldo to be punished severely for his actions. It is considered a crime of public dishonor, and it is one of the crimes that entails arrest and deportation if committed by a foreigner, Ahmed said on Twitter as she vowed to file a complaint to the Saudi prosecutor's office for his crime of public indecency. Ronaldo has also drawn heavy criticism from journalists in Saudi Arabia, with Osman Abubakar suggesting Al Nasser should terminate his £175 million a year contract following his immoral and impolite gesture against the spectators. However, according to Merca, Al Nasser sources have defended Ronaldo by claiming he made the gesture after he received a blow during the match to his genitals. The controversial incident came after a damaging defeat for Dinko Jilisic's side that saw them concede further ground in the title race. Second place to Al Nasser are now three points behind leaders Al Ihad having played a game more, and with Al Shabab in third three points behind them with a game in hand. Ronaldo was furious as he stormed off the pitch, and footage online seems to show him grabbing his crotch as supporters inside the King Fahd International Stadium in Riyadh sung Messi. Messi. Messi, repeatedly in what was undoubtedly an attempt to taunt CR7. As he headed for the tunnel, the former Manchester United player appeared to put his hand in his genital area and pull upwards. The clip shows Ronaldo trudging off the field and past the media zone, before holding his crotch and moving it around. While at the end of the video, he appears to look up towards the chanting fans with a grin on his face. A second video on social media shows him doing the same thing just after crossing the touchline. Earlier in the game, Ronaldo made headlines after bringing down an opponent in a chokehold. Rather than let his feet do the talking, Ronaldo was instead booked just before the hour mark while his side were 1-0 down after making a challenge that resembled something more likely to be seen in a WWE ring. The former Man United star leapt onto his opponent, wrapping his right arm around his neck before using his body weight to wrestle him to the ground. Despite the rather overzealous conduct from the 38-year-old, he was only booked by former Premier League referee Michael Oliver, who was officiating the game. This was despite there being no clear attempt to play the aerial ball above their heads as he made the challenge. With 15 minutes to go in his I-2-0 down, Ronaldo did eventually find the net after running onto a long ball before firing home, only to be controversially flagged offside. Al Nasser recently parted ways with manager Rudy Garcia amid reports of dressing room discontent, not least reportedly related to the Portuguese superstar. He was replaced by former youth team coach Jelisic, who took over as interim boss. Needing a victory away at Al Hilal to ensure they stayed in touch with the league leaders, they conceded twice from the penalty spot courtesy of Odi and Ayalo. The 198 cap Portugal international Ronaldo has scored 11 goals in 11 league games for Al Nasser 11 and 13 in all competitions, since joining on a massive three-year contract in December after his contract at Old Trafford was terminated. Ronaldo's representatives have been approached for comment. sur Ali Tihad. Trois points récupérés de manière directe pour Al Nasser. Deux, on n'est pas trop là-dedans de côté Al Nasser. Même si la Kharib était bien esselé, mais une nouvelle fois la faute de Kharib qui est 20...
Igalo qui va essayer de se mettre en place Il a essayé Igalo Il a essayé de cadrer Malheureusement pour lui, ça passe juste à côté, même si la balle a été contrée Corner C'est simple, hein, réalisé par euh, Al-Hilal, mais ce simple précis... Et Carillo, une nouvelle fois corner sortant. Et une nouvelle fois cette balle qui va être récupérée par les joueurs d'Al Hilal. Cristiano Ronaldo qu'on veut suivre au final lors de ces soirées de Champions. Avec ce contre. Après le chaos qu'il a subi tout à l'heure, le dégagement et le contrôle de Moussal, Abdelhamid. Oh, attention avec le pressing. Et là, il y avait un bon point qui a un petit peu de champ pour s'en sortir. Il a même tranquillement du champ là, c'est bien fait. Sœur. Et attention avec le touche qui est effectué rapidement. Oh, il n'y a rien. Qui... Mariga, le centre d'une touche. Et la balle dégagée par Alvaro Gonzalez. Ah, si imposant que ça de la part de Al Hilal. Yahya, Kharib. Et on va revenir à la faute. Bien sûr qu'il y a faute sur. Euh, Yahya. Albreik. Si on lui touche. On laisse avantage. Il n'y a personne à la surface en revanche. Il n'y a personne à la surface. Ah, Cristiano Ronaldo était beaucoup trop loin. Et Al Mayouf qui a fait le plongeon photo. La Ligue Saoudienne demande aux grands arbitres européens d'être présents. Cristiano Ronaldo qui était là en sans profondeur mais bien surveillé la Thank you for watching our video. Please subscribe channel, comment and sharing our videos.